All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome into today's edition of In the Game. I am your host, Hustle, and as always, we're going to be diving into the markets, but more so, one of the hottest narratives in the market right now. If you like free money, for, for the most part, most of the stuff today, if you like low capital entries with high capital potential gains on the back end, you're going to want to watch this gaming airdrop show. I'm going to give you, I don't know, there's like 10, 12 different gaming airdrops going on in the space right now. I'm going to go over all of them for you in this show so you can position yourself, put time into these things and complete some of these quests, jump into some of these games and be able to capitalize on this big airdrop trend that we are seeing right now in the market. So without further ado, let's jump in the game. All right, and as always, guys, drop down, hit that like button, and subscribe for more every single day and week here on In The Game. And stick around till the end of the show because we have something special dropping for the fam here on In The Game. Um, so make sure you stick around to the end of the show. And a shout-out to our sponsors here on In The Game. Uh, we have Cetify, Vulcan Forge, Ultra, Redato, Dreams Quest, Game Starter, and NordVPN. Be sure, drop down below, check out all of our sponsors in the description down below, and as well as our exchange partners as well, if you're looking for a place to potentially trade some of these altcoins. So once again today, we're not really going over the market. The market's calming, and you guys know I'm all about accumulations. There's a lot of good accumulations out there, but uh, gaming altcoins are a bit down right now, and I think that there's plenty of opportunities, and we're going to have time to be able to cover those. And, um, you know, we're pretty up from our positions in the bottom of the market. So today's show isn't really about, you know, what the market looks like right now, but it is going to be about one of the hottest trends in the market, which right now is the play to airdrop narrative. And even more so, there are some of these airdrops where you don't have to play. So let's jump into this thing. You're going to be watching this on a Friday. And well, we're recording this for a Friday show and the play to airdrop narrative first and foremost for pixels, which is on the Ronin network is ending on Friday, the play to airdrop 2.0. Um, and I believe they might continue this trend. Who knows? Uh, but this does end on Friday, January 19th. So, you know, you might be asking hustle, what are some of the next opportunities? And the reason I want to isolate some of these next opportunities, look at the user growth. I mean, 180,000 daily active wallets here on the pixels game due to this airdrop farming and then recently we had the xai token xai whatever you want i'm going to call it xai just for simplicity purposes um they just did an airdrop to their nft holders the node holders etc and this ended up being pretty lucrative at the price and at the fdv so what are some opportunities that you can jump into and be able to capitalize early and be able to get in on some of these gaming airdrops well <clears throat> let's jump into it. I'm a little under the weather. It feels like I have like a cough. So if I have to like clear my throat or anything, sorry about that, but let's jump into this nifty Island open beta is now live. You can start playing on niftyisland.com and check out your play to airdrop standing here. So play to airdrop is going live in nifty Island, which is one of the hottest ones out there right now. Um, here's how to maximize your allocation. So it gives you all of these different things. There are three different components, the airdrop points and blooms, collector tiers and quests. And um, Raiden actually posted a tweet today about this. You can complete twest, uh, qu twest, uh, qu quests. Uh, you have three daily tasks to complete to earn your first blooms. You can purchase rewards with your blooms to earn airdrop points. You collect blooms, purchase and upgrade and earn airdrop points. You can invite friends. So it's like a referral system. You get 10 points per user that joins through your link. And then a custom island, uh, customize your island and create your own game. Um, so I made an only up game on my island. So the more people that play on your land or on your game, uh, the more you potentially earn. And then you collect NFTs to increase your tier. So this is live right now. And this actually went live, I think, yeah, last night. So this is 
brand new. You can jump into this. You are very early on this Nifty Island uh, trend, and you can jump in and start earning the Island token um, immediately. So this is the definitive guide. This is on the Nifty Island Twitter, uh, the definitive guide to farming Island. So that is number one. It is the newest one out there right now, and I think that this one will be pretty lucrative. They have amazing partnerships and amazing backing, and I think that the Island token should be pretty profitable for those who get in and uh, really farm this thing on the play to airdrop narrative. And I love this. It's not just engagement farming. It's literally jump in the game, complete tasks, and then you can actually be able to reap the rewards of that airdrop. Another one on the way here is the Farcana token airdrop. Now, this one's very time sensitive, um, very time sensitive. You can head over to the Farcana Twitter and you can find this. It's on Farcana.com as well. Uh, but you see here, the campaign ends here in just a couple of days. All you really have to do, um, create an account, uh, have a Bybit account, follow them on their socials. Uh, any social activity counts towards this as well. Jump in and play around and refer friends. And there's another tweet here that talks about it well. Literally, just create an account, execute at least one trade for any amount on Bybit, follow the tasks, social activity, play a round of the game on PC only, and invite three friends. And you can jump in and take advantage of the Farcana airdrop. The next one here on the list, Heroes of Mavia. This one is going to be multi-tiered and multi-staged. As they see, the Pioneer program. Um, I love the graphic here with the, the D-Gen looking Doge sitting on the throne. I'm really looking forward to Mavia and their TGE. Uh, but the Pioneer program will have multiple uh, segments to it. So the first one is exclusive to landowners and stakers. So the Pioneer program season one, you're going to get an airdrop if you own the land or uh, are staking your lands. But in the future, this is probably going to be, as they say, including social engagement, gameplay, competition, Ruby marketplace trading, and more. So I'm excited for this. This is just the first stage. So you're very early on this one. If you have an NFT in Heroes of Mavia, you're going to get an airdrop. So first and foremost, that's, that's big time. But on top of that, Afterwards, you're going to see play to airdrop competitions, quests, trading challenges, etc. Uh, I really like what they're setting up here for whenever the game goes live. And they're still gearing up for global launch this month for the game. So I'm really excited uh, for what Mavi is doing here on the airdrop side. We have Aperion. So um, you might have seen this one recently on your Twitter feed. The reason is they just bridged over, as you see here. They migrated from Polygon to Ronin. Does that ring a bell? Pixels on Ronin, successful play to airdrop campaign. I, I, I think it makes sense, right? I, I think it makes sense why we could see this do really well. Uh, and if we actually go down here, uh, we can see that you can earn anima airdrop points um, for, you know, uh, earn AP for anima access at season three launch. Battle vesting includes completing in-game tasks, uh, thresholds for unlocking at TGEs, account tiers and multipliers to uh, you know optimize your rewards. There's PvP bonuses, multipliers for different planet types, uh, permit primival uh, multiplier based on account tier, etc. So there's a lot that factors into these types of things. There's a full uh, article here on Games.gg on how to optimize your play to airdrop for a Perion, but this is one. Because they're now on Ronin, I could totally see this airdrop being pretty lucrative uh, and very popular once this thing really hits the mainstream and goes live. Um, another one that uh, this one's a popular one, um, Kororo Beasts. They've been building in the space for quite a while. Uh, pretty hyped up project as well. And uh, they're doing a play to airdrop campaign that just started a couple weeks ago. It goes up until March 31st. All you have to do, come over here to Kororo.com. On the homepage, it says Kuro Airdrop. Um, so the hunt for Kuro begins now. You just click here on the airdrop tab. You connect your Discord and you can start getting involved with some of the tasks for the Kororo airdrop. And I want to make it clear, like there's a lot of opportunities. And that's the thing. So you're going to see so many airdrop opportunities over Q1 right now because it's the hot narrative. NFTs that are minting and flying off the shelves. That's the narrative of the reason why they have airdrops attached to them, which 
We're going to talk about that in just a second. So a lot of these are quest-based, social engagement-based, or play to airdrop. That is the common theme here. And these are all gaming projects, which I'm super bullish on. And the thing about these is you can jump in with no capital on 99% of these things and potentially make a thousand, five figures. Some people, if they capitalize on everything in this video, might come out with six figures. And that's not even a joke. Like you might literally enter because Farcana wants you to trade on Bybit with 50 bucks and you could leave here with five figures, maybe, maybe six figures. You never know. These airdrops are random. And if you are a grinder, you can jump into these games and you can put some time into these airdrops. I think you can make out like a bandit during this uh, little airdrop cycle, I'm going to call it, uh, where this is just super hot. We have blood loop as well. Um, so if you stake your blood loop NFTs on the SEM capsules collection, um, you can actually, you know, come in, stake the NFTs, activate the point generation system, complete daily, weekly, and monthly tasks. Those convert into the blood loop token at the end of each airdrop season. So stay tuned for more tokenomics breakdown. They did post that tokenomics breakdown, um, but this is still very early as well. This has not really gotten off the ground too much yet. Um, so all you have to do, you can see here, uh, there are seven different rarities, different faction and affinity scores. And once those are out there. You stake the NFTs on the SEM capsules, uh, complete daily, weekly, and monthly gamified tasks, and you can start potentially earning some of those blood loop tokens. Um, staking without completing quests will gradually reduce your generation to zero over time. So you're going to want to complete quests to continue that uh, generation of those tokens. So that's very important. A lot of those are quest based and play to airdrop based. Now, Moving into some NFT uh, airdrops. We saw Overworld absolutely crush the mint. They've done 5,000 Ethereum in volume in less than a month. I, I, less than a month, I'm pretty sure, uh, here on um, Overworld. It's right around a month whenever they minted. Uh, and as we see here, it's at a two ETH floor price. And the reason that these are flying, by the way, the art's phenomenal. I really like the art, um, I have to say. I am a holder of this. Uh, and at the moment, this is leading up to the airdrop uh, Incarnas, which is the NFTs, as we see here, the Overworld Incarnas. They will be airdropped the MNCT token um, and be able to acquire land, fortify your environment, enlist skilled hands to cultivate resources, forge weapon and tools, and recruit allies and spirits to defeat enemies. So anyone who holds or minted uh, an overworld, you'll get different points if you've never list, if it's unlisted versus listed, if you minted, if you held the whole time, all that stuff factors into how many tokens you are going to be airdropped. They are also doing a pre-sale. So this is for the MNCT token. You get this for just holding an overworld. Same thing. Uh, Founders keys by AOF verse uh, army of fortune. The AFG token is going live as the sources say very, very soon. Like uh, that, that that announcement might be coming out any given day now. And I, I'm really bullish on what they're doing. They have over 500,000 verified players, but you only, you know, this is a 0.47 floor, so much more affordable for most uh, than potentially holding an overworld NFT at two Ethereum. Uh, but the one thing I like is they just opened up a quest to earn program for the AFG token. So one of the most popular mobile games out there currently in Web3 is Army of Tactics. And as you see here, the AFG TGE is on the horizon. You can start stacking your chances at gaining more tokens. You can literally jump in the Discord, get the Fortuneers roll, and start stacking the token before TGE. So um, their Twitter is AOFverse. Always look for the gold check mark. Always make sure you're on the official links. But uh, everything you're seeing on the screen today is official. Uh, and these are the official links. So you can start your quest to earn journey for the Army of Fortune token here. Very, I mean, it's right now. You, you can start it as soon as you want. I mean, and here's the thing. I'm behind, like I'm, I'm cultivating the alpha for you guys, but I need to jump into a lot of these different things as well myself, because like 
I want to make sure I capitalize and jump in and complete some of these things. And it's a very busy thing as like a content creator, uh, a builder with my own NFT collections and software and, and the things we're doing behind the scenes here at Banter for you guys. Like uh, I need to put more time into these things. So I think maybe today I'm going to bust out the laptop. I'm going to start getting involved with some of these things because uh, I, I need to get involved. Uh, you know, I'm giving you guys the alpha first. That's what we're all about here on in the game. Um, Age of Dino, these are going to come with a uh, token airdrop. Their game looks pretty solid as well as Block Games Dice. So there is an allocation here for Block Games Dice to be able to get uh, airdropped some of their tokens. So those are some of the ones you can literally just hold these NFTs and you're getting tokens in the background. So that's very bullish in my opinion. One that's coming up that's minting that I just recently got some alpha. I think they might have a token coming up. I, I cannot confirm, but uh, from what I'm hearing, it seems like they might be uh, you know, potentially leading towards some uh, some rays in the future. So uh, on January 25th, Play Ember, they have, I believe, yeah, 5 million plus monthly active users here. They're a Web 2 game studio moving to Web 3. They are minting January 25th on Xterio, the same launch pad Xterio that has launched overworld that has launched age of dino that is doing my angry yakuza girlfriend as well as play ember so some of my favorite projects in the space that Xterio is incubating those are going to be um i think really hot mints and i think play ember is also eventually uh gonna come with a token and an airdrop not confirmed but that is definitely speculation and i have to say this uh in the intermission of the airdrop talk, uh, pudgy penguins are at 20 Ethereum right now. And I saw this. So while we were talking about these NFTs, uh, pudgies across from the chessboard here from the bears, they're literally about to flip board apes. Like that's crazy. Board apes are like 25 and, uh, pudgies are 20 ETH right now. So it's pretty crazy to see. I had to throw this in since we were talking about some of the, uh, the NFT airdrops and then back on the play to airdrop narrative. So these are some of the things. There's prize pools up for grabs in these ones that I'm about, about to show you. So Shrapnel, um, they had made the decision to move the early launch into the new year. So it should be here very soon, either over the next month or the next couple of weeks. And they're giving away $3 million in prizes based on the extraction leaderboard. So if you're a first person shooter, this is where like the competitive side comes in. If you're a first person shooter player, an esports player, you want to grind for some of this prize pool they're giving out three million dollars here okay so look out for this with shrapnel this is play to airdrop it's exactly what it is the same thing as big time big time's leaderboard round two just uh finished and the new season as you see here we will reveal more about round three very soon and they are giving away so many big time tokens here uh to people who finish at the top of the leaderboards right so uh these are play to airdrops but they're competitive play to airdrops uh we have playable games their games nexus or their game nexus on epic game store uh is live now and the play to earn just recently start i don't remember exactly how much if they're giving away a hundred thousand or a million um uh, bull tokens every single day so like there's a daily prize pool here on Nexus. So if you're looking to jump into a game today, start earning literally every single day, there is a prize pool uh, slash allocation for play to earn that's up for grabs every single day in the playable games ecosystem. And by the way, the bull token is getting pretty cheap again. I'm definitely keeping my eyes on it because um, it ran up so hard and I think it's really good accumulation at this point in time, but jump into Nexus this is a fun game. It's on Epic game store right on their launcher. You just download, jump into it and you can earn a share of either those hundred thousand or a million bull tokens a day. I'm not really quite sure uh, which one it was some early alpha I've been seeing on Twitter. Uh, between a Nordic Raven, uh, Vidar, and some chats that we're seeing that they might be doing some in-game event soon, some play-to-airdrop campaign. So if you're not already, I mean, I got my Saga phone here, and I tell you, my highest screen time app on this uh, Solana phone has to be uh, Honeyland at this point in time. Like, every single day, I'm jumping in here. I'm completing my quests. I'm, I'm doing my time. Uh, in the hives, let's just say. So I believe something is around the corner here for Honeyland. So that's one to take a look out for. Uh, so yeah, like there's so many opportunities, guys. Like 
I could probably keep going on different ones that are doing play to airdrop campaigns and having these big competitive, uh, you know, token grabs inside of their game. But let's recap quickly. We have Nifty Island, which is play to airdrop. Uh, the guide here is posted right on their Twitter page to how to maximize uh, your allocation. Or you can go check out Zero X Raiden on Twitter. He did a really good thorough guide on exactly how to maximize that. Farcana, this one's easy. Just jump in, complete some of these tasks, and you're going to be able to qualify for a Farcana airdrop. Uh, this one, like I said, very easy to get involved in. Mavia, if you're a landowner, you're going to get an airdrop. In the future, they're going to do stuff like leaderboards, competitions, quests, trading competitions, etc. cetera. Um, we have Aperion. This is on the Ronin chain. I think this one could be very popular, like Pixels. Uh, so they're going to do a play to airdrop going on currently. We have Kororo Beasts, play to airdrop going until March. Um, so the hunt for Koro begins now. You can start just by going to their website and clicking on the airdrop tab. We have Bloodloop. We have Overworld. We have, uh, yeah, AOF, the AOF verse. We have their AFG token coming up very soon. Age of Dino. We have Bloodloop. Uh, we have Block Games. And as we see here, there's so many at this point. I'm like, I'm like getting them all mixed up. Uh, we have Play Ember. We have Big Time. We have Shrapnel. We have playable games, Nexus. We have Honeyland, which is doing play to airdrop. So as you see here, I think I just gave you guys like 15 projects or something like that that are doing airdrop campaigns currently. And I'm telling you, if you go out there and you just put the time in, if anything, like I use Google Calendar all the time for my uh, organization, my scheduling, all that good stuff. Like I need to jump in on my Google Calendar and I need to put hour blocks to like airdrop farm some of these things and jump in and like max i want to qualify for as much of this as possible and the funny thing like i said earlier in the show i'm giving you the alpha even before i'm jumping in and doing it so like that's what we're all about here on in the game i'm i'm here to deliver the alpha even before uh, i get around to it so uh and then game starter shout out to one of our newest sponsors here on in the game They've really transformed from a launch pad into a full-fledged gaming ecosystem. They just partnered up with Neo Tokyo, which I'm, I'm, I'm a member. I'm very bullish on Neo Tokyo. I saw some comments on the last show about Neo Tokyo. I'm, I've been in Neo Tokyo for a couple of years, and uh, I, I don't have any plans of, uh, of not being involved. Uh, so shout out to them. They also partnered up with Kaiju Kings as well as AOF Verse, one that we're super bullish on. So. You know, I'm, I'm very excited for what they're building. And just like with Redato, I think the Game Starter token is pretty undervalued, like genuinely. So um, check out Redato, check out Game Starter, and check out all of our sponsors down below in the link in the description. And then a big announcement here on In the Game. So we are launching a private group for all the in the game, all the banter fam that wants all the crypto gaming alpha, the NFT alpha, the spot buys, the trading, et cetera. So what we are going to be doing, uh, we are partnering up with the sniper team. So uh, all the chartists, you know, I, I believe me and Dylan mainly are going to be uh, kind of navigating this, but we're going to be giving trade signals and setups, tokens that I'm you know, kind of feeding into the machine. And then the chartists are going to absolutely go in there, chart those things up, give you the setups. We're going to have the altcoins, all the spot buys, portfolios, things that we're looking at, et cetera, exclusive live sessions, as well as sports betting. So um, you're going to be able to kind of chat bets, gamblefy, all these different things. We're going to have a community gem section. You can give us tokens. We'll chart them. I'll go over them. I'll do a write-up on these different tokens for you guys. So it's really one-on-one -on -one access. And Things have gotten so hectic on the channel. Like it's hard for me to even live stream anymore because there's too many, there, there's too many comments and, and uh, chat box questions. And I legitimately cannot get to all of them. But what this discord will provide us is an avenue where you can actually chat with me in a closed session in a more behind closed doors environment. And I can get to your questions and I can answer them in a more curated way uh, than YouTube allows me to. So check out the link below wap.com slash in the game. Uh, and if you want to join the gaming and trading private group, uh, you can down below in the description. So guys, that's going to be it for me for today. Let me know which airdrops you are grinding in the gaming space I'm probably going to hop off and, and go grind some of these myself. So, guys, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the GambleFi show on Saturday. As always, play well, my friends.